Let's talk about Fred Rose, the genius songwriter behind many of your favorite country songs. He was born in Evansville, Indiana in 1897 and grew up around the St. Louis area with his single mom. And he only attended school up until about third grade. And then he started going and playing honky-tonk piano in the local bars and clubs around St. Louis and earning tips so he could help out his mom. And he got involved in the vaudeville scene over there. And then around World War I in the early 20s, when he was in his early 20s, he moved over to Chicago where there was this new genre being developed called jazz by musicians like Scott Joplin and Fats Waller. And at that time, if you were a musician and you wanted to hear somebody's new hit, you had to go and get the sheet music or the piano roll. You couldn't just hear their CD. <laughs> um, and so people were much more influenced by uh, other musicians in a lot of ways because you had to be ab able to actually play their music to experience it. And so he was very influenced by those musicians and he had a radio job in Chicago, but he ended up getting fired for having a drinking problem. And then he got a new radio job over in Nashville. And so he moved there and his show was called Freddie Rose's Song Shop where listeners would call in and suggest a song title and Fred Rose would write the lyrics on the show and sing the song for them. And that sounds like a cool idea, but it didn't do very well in Nashville at the time. And so he moved up to New York City to be involved with Tin Pan Alley. And when he was up there, he started co-writing country songs with Ray Whitley, who was a B-Western film star. And he had some success with that, but now that he was really into country music, he thought he'd go give Nashville another try. And so he went down there and met Roy Acuff, who was the Grand Old Opry singer and fiddle player and promoter and also Freemason. And they decided to form a music publishing company together called, Ray, called Rose Acuff Publishing. And their company did really well almost immediately because they decided to hire this promising young musician named Hank Williams as one of their clients. And during Fred's time running that music company, he also wrote many hit songs such as Do I love you, oh my, do I, honey, deed I do. And I'm drifting into deep water and do 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 fireball mail and haven't got a worry, haven't got a care, haven't got a thing to call my own. Though I've got no money, I'm a millionaire. I've got a home in San Antonio and I'll never get out of this world alive and pins and needles, needles and pins and roly poly daddy little fatty and comb your hair and paint and powder you act proud and i'll act prouder you sing loud and i'll sing louder tonight we're setting the woods on fire and they dance to the waltz of the wind and many many other songs you should look it up you'd be amazed how many hits he wrote and he only lived to be in his 50s when he died of heart failure but when they opened up the Country Music Hall of Fame in 1961, three of the first inductees ever were Hank Williams, Jimmy Rogers, and Fred Rose. So he was very important and influential in country music. So now I'm going to sing for you a lovely song by Fred Rose that was made famous by Roy Acuff and later even more famous by Willie Nelson called Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. like 